Well, wasn't that a joyful uh, transfer window we had? What an absolute shambles that was. It really, really was indeed. Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Penny Prowlock, and I'm here with a video uh, just describing this overall transfer window for Newcastle United Football Club. And as uh, you can tell, as I said at the start of the video, it was an absolute shambles. What a complete and utter farce it was. Two players brung in. One was signed permanent. One was a loan deal for the under-23s. Joe Willock getting the permanent deal. Brilliant to bring him back to the football club uh, on a permanent deal. So you're thinking, all right, there we go. At least that is a good deal that we've brung in. The Munoz deal, as I mentioned, it's for the under-23s and not the first team. 18-month loan deal, so we'll see how that one goes and if he does make it into the first team. But, but the rest of it, I've just, just said what an absolute mockery it was. You can tell that this side needed more faces in through this door because there's certain areas in that team that really needed to be sorted out. And we certainly didn't do that. What did we do? Sat on our backsides as usual and just forget about it. Or come out and say, well, we just couldn't quite get this deal over the line. Like we possibly did with the Hamza Chowdhury that uh, technically fell through with about two hours left of the transfer window remaining. Because of air, uh, couldn't agree with the wage thingy. My, my God. Even though I'm not sure if Chowdy would have improved uh, the squad, but it would have been okay to get another face in the door. I'll always give uh, new players an opportunity, a chance when they're coming through the door. But yeah, let's look at the areas that needed strengthening. The defence for a starters. I mean, you see how wide open we have been this season. Five at the back as well. And we look so wide open at times. Diary, diary, me. The midfield is still not great. We've got Joe Will again, but there still looks quite weak in there um, as well. And another striker would have been good for the first team um, as well, definitely. I mean, if Callum Wilson's injured, we struggle to score goals. Joe Linton, still not uh, convinced. Dwight Gale, he's not good enough for the Premier League. He's just not good enough for the Premier League. <sighs> so... Yeah, there you are. That's why this whole transfer window for Newcastle has been an absolute shambles. I will continue to back the team and hopefully we'll stop picking up results very, very soon. Because that's what us Newcastle fans will do with this football club. Steve Bruce, he's still yeah, He still needs to go. It doesn't look like he's going to be going at this moment of time. Mike Ashley doesn't give a... Uh, doesn't care anymore. He's wiped his hands with the football club. He wants rid of it. Concentrate more on a takeover that's not going to happen for ages or is probably never, ever going to happen at all. And Lee Charlie, where you would like to know where he is lately because he seems to be going right off the radar. And, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could tell the whole situation of the club is just an absolute, complete utter farce. Fans are fed up. Dread of relegation at the end of the season, which is looking likely at this moment of time. What's to look forward to? What is really look to look forward to at this moment of time at this football club? Not a lot. Definitely not a lot. Man United after the international break as well. Oh my word. So, there you are. But anyway, guys, let me know down in the comments section how you are feeling about this absolute shocking transfer window. A lot of the said, really, really awful. Knew what was going to happen um, as well. We'll just spend all our money on one player and we'll just leave the rest out of it because we're thinking, ah, it doesn't need strength. Not to mention um, as well, which I forgot to mention, players at this club who should have been gone. Like Sir Kraft, Shelby, Hendrick. Oh, no, they're still here. And they'll probably be like, oh, but they're under contract. That's why we can't get rid of them. Just, yeah, oh, rubbish. Should have been out the door. They're not good enough for this football club um, as well. <sighs> so, yeah, as I mentioned, guys, just let me know, as always, about what you think of this whole shambolic transfer window we have had massively um, as well. It'd be great to get your guys' uh, thoughts. Saturday, I'm going to do a live show while the international break is on. Because there's a lot of the time, I just can't be chewed with it. I just can't be bothered with it. So I thought, let's do something just to keep the channel going. 
while the international break is here. So thank you for watching. Of course, don't forget to give this video a like. Please drop your comments in as well of what I said, how you think about this whole transfer business and you cast the United. It, you, a lot of you are going to say it's been an absolute joke. It really, really is. If you haven't checked me out before, please do hit that subscribe button. We did hit 1,200 subscribers on the channel um, as well. So thank you very much. That's helped me get to uh, there. And I shall catch us uh, all later. Take care. <sighs> yeah. Transfer business for Newcastle United. What a complete, utter farce.